Welcome to Poseidon Tech. Today we have another product from Alta Labs, the AP6W, a four stream wall mount access point with many ports at the back and at the bottom. Let's open the box to see what is included. This is the wall mount access point. We will check it further later. This is a bracket for wall mounting. And this is a second bracket with more depth. Some screws. And of course the user guide. Let's give a closer look to the access point. It has a POAIN port at the back, where you can power in the device, and also two additional ports at the bottom, which one of them is POAIN and the other is POA out. You can also power this device with an external power supply, in case you don't have a POA switch. This is the wall mount brackets, with different depths, and it mounts like this. This bracket should be used in case you don't have any space behind the access point since it is flush. The other one is thinner and should be used in case you have some space behind the access point. So you can choose accordingly. Let's compare this AP6W access point to the other access points from Alta Labs. Here are side by side to compare the size. It's much smaller. And for different use. Now let's power on the device using a POE switch or router. And what better than the Alta Lab Root 10, which has POE support. We can power it on using the port at the back, as you can see. The device has already booting up. Or you can use the port at the bottom. It's exactly the same. I have to admit that the access point seems very robust. Also, this back plate is from metal to reduce the heat. Let's use now the POE out functionality. For this purpose, we'll use another access point from Alta, the AP6 Pro, which we will power through this AP6W. Just connect the other access point to the POE out port, and as you can see, the AP6 Pro is already booting up. Now it's time to check the AP6W from the software perspective. First of all, we need to set up the device, which as you can see is really fast, just a couple of seconds, and the device is ready and connected. Let's give it a name. So let's select the device to check the Wi-Fi settings, similar channel bandwidth, power, per channel and under the settings we can configure the ports independently native VLANs, allowed VLANs, mode for all three Ethernet ports also we got an option to enable all disabled POE pass-through Let's enable this and we can give a look under the temperature. Under the info, we can perform a quick scan or a full scan and some DPIs.
very friendly user interface. We can see that we have a connected device under port number two. And with mouse over, we can power cycle this and check the power consumption. This is a great device. And as always, we are never disappointed with Alta Labs products. It is very flexible with a lot of options and a very beautiful device. It is highly recommended. Thank you for watching this video. See you on the next one.